the name of the game today is going to be an hour, one hour to come up with a some sort of mobile UI theme using Swift UI. I'm not the greatest at Swift UI. I'm not that great actually at all. Kind of been trying to implement using it into new app projects. So it also seems like somebody has decided to cut their grass in the middle of winter. What can you do? Hopefully that's not too loud. Just abandoning the tutorials and just seeing how much I can put together on my own. This is either going to go horribly well or horribly bad. Only one way to find out. Okay, so it is 158, so two minutes. So we're going to 1 to 10, seems like a decent number. So as you're watching, we're going to randomly generate a number. Five. Five, I like the number five. So then we're going to go back to our theme and we're going to click the randomize button five times. And then depending on what I get there is kind of what I'm working with in terms of the themes. Four. Five. Eternity Dwarf Coffee. Eternity Dwarf Coffee. Hmm. That's the random theme. So we're working with Eternity Dwarf Coffee. Okay. Um, normally, I would sit down with a book and a piece of paper, and that's how I'd come up with something. Um, I don't have that luxury, so... What do I get? What do I think of? What comes to mind? Eternity Dwarf Coffee. Maybe it's a dwarf in coffee shop with a light. And because of the word eternity, then I'm getting like light blue themes. Um, maybe it's a coffee roaster. Dwarf coffee. Okay, it's a plant. It's actually a type of coffee bean. Okay. Um... Dwarves drinking coffee. <laughs> uh, oh, like again, people. I'm thinking like the the uh, fantasy creature dwarf. Not. I guess it also is a word for um, members of society. I guess based on. I think it's a stature thing. I'm not really sure, and I don't want to offend anybody, so I'm just gonna stop there. To see dwarves drinking coffee. <laughs> I just need some imagery to kind of get uh, get my mind going. Okay, so dwarves. Okay, so in fantasy culture, they're not typically like light and airy. They're they're a bit more moody, I guess. What about if, uh, eternity? What what comes to mind when you just put eternity into Google as imagery? Okay, so very spacey. Okay, some perfumes. Yeah, a lot of blues, purples, whites. You kind of think of the other world, like, you know, the world beyond. Okay, 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 we'll do this. Hey Siri, set a timer for one hour. Your timer is set for one hour. All right, so Siri's going to keep us in check here. Uh, this isn't easy, huh? Coming up with, this isn't easy. This And this is, this is why I'm doing this challenge, because I know it's going to be a challenge. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to get out of it. Okay, so I'm thinking... What if it's a dwar Eternity Dwarf Coffee? I'm drinking tea, not even coffee. <laughs> if you came up with something better, I I recommend, I suggest, I please ask that you give the challenge a try and, th you know, share it with me somehow. Twitter, Instagram, what? Okay, so it's an, a fantasy app. Well, it's not a fantasy app. It's an app for the buying of magic coffee. Okay, that seems so crazy, but okay. Roll view. Yes, you know what? Yes, let's let's do let's do with what I can do because I don't have much time. An hour is not a lot to research anything, so we're gonna do a scroll view. Um, shows indicator. We're going to be, is it, it's a vertical scroll view. Um, we're not going to show the indicator and our content is going to be um, this. Okay. So now one of the things I would always do is we're just going to do a new group and we're going to put all our sub views in here. So sub views and our sub views are essentially just going to be um, smaller containers of views just so that, you know, we can reuse things easier so we're gonna do a new file 
um, Swift UI view. Um, okay, so we're just gonna have this be uh, coffee overview view. I don't know. Your names should be better, uh, but I'm in a rush, so <laughs> I'm not gonna be too concerned about my name choices at this present moment. And very much a learning a challenge to kind of solidify my learning and also really understand where I kind of mess run it, um, make things harder for myself. Eternity, etern eternity blend as an example, as the description, and I can say, um, this coffee is prepared, is is hand roasted. Is I don't even know if that's a thing, but whatever. It sounds artis sounds artisanal. Is hand roasted um, by um, by the northern either in Canada, so by the northern uh, tribal dwarves, or no, by the northern dwarves, dwarves of, and I'm gonna say Canada. Like just because Canada without a without a C, Canada, uh, Canadia, it's a fake place there. Canadia, um, this coffee is hand roasted by the northern dwarves of Canadia. Uh, one sip, one sip, uh, one sip gives everlasting life. I don't know, it's everlasting life. Who needs the fountain of youth? Who needs essentially? Um, because we're in a scroll view, would allow you to then see all of the coffee types. Okay. Okay. And now if we go back to our content view, that should kind of have updated things a bit. Clock. All right. That's 24 minutes, 23 seconds to go. So if you were working on this to really implement it, you would create as like a kind of like a coffee class or coffee product class that had all of like the attributes that would be shared between items so every coffee would have an, a name every coffee would every coffee would have a name a description a price an image and so and so on and so forth and maybe a tasting note or whatever and you would just make sure that every time you make a coffee a new coffee item that you would ha it has that information and then you could essentially create a if you weren't using a database and pulling this information from a database if this was still local to the computer you'd create essentially an array of those items and then you could kind of loop through them to get this populated you wouldn't necessarily do this one by one so one thing we could do is we can make another view right and this wouldn't be a sub view so we'll just make this a whole view and we could say um ow, new file and we can say swift ui view because we still have 19 minutes so um I'm going to keep going and we're, we can call this, um, t -t 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 what can we call this? We can call this, um, coffee detail view. We could reuse a view here. We could reuse our view and we could call it, that would give us that, right? But underneath that now, let's say we want a H stack. And I'm running out of 15 minutes. Okay. And then I realized our first problem. Our app is no longer going to work anymore because we need to navigate to this view. We can, in the simulator, we'll be able to click and get to the next page. Do you see? Oh, I, I spelled forest wrong. Um, if you click these, nothing's going to happen. And nothing's going to happen because you haven't told the app that something should happen when you do here. In this case, we did use a navigation link, and so there we go. When we click on this, we get somewhere. Let's go with 50. What's wrong? Oh, chat of suburbia. Thanks for the follow. This is where I say, what do you fill this space with? The uh, coffee supply and dot navigation, navigation bar title display mode dot large. Let's see, what does that breed us? 18 seconds, <laughs> hopefully that fixed it. It'd be nice if I fixed it in the end, 18 seconds to go, 12. Uh, oh yeah, nope, that broke it even further. Definitely broke it even further. Uh, okay, that's annoying. We're just gonna make this all, and there it goes. Out of time, out of time to fix it.
that's it going off. Okay, <laughs> so that was fun. This is where we got. Uh, I'm just gonna do a couple fixes. So this is this is after I've run out of time. Where I got is where I got. Um, actually, before we try and fix it, let's just let's just launch it like it was. So this is what we got in exactly an hour. Um, yeah. So uh, clearly, clearly there's a bug with my navigation view, um, and I didn't spell forest right. Or maybe I did, or maybe I meant to. Uh, anyways, and you click uh, that, and you get into the um, product page screen. And essentially, my my idea for this would be that like you maybe add characteristics of the coffee here in some fancy way, like in a stack, a collection view, um, you know, a grid view, so, some some more interesting way to kind of explain the information. I reused the coffee overview view that we get that we made as a sub view because in the interest of time, and that's the great thing about making reusable views, in the end, you don't have to recreate the wheel when you wanna do something down the road. So I reused it here because I figured, well, all this person wants is more information. So yeah, clearly there's a bug. So we're gonna see now if I can kind of get this working where the navigation view isn't so large and where it's supposed to be where it's supposed to be. Stop, yep, and we press play. So a little over, well, not a little, quite a bit over our one hour timeline. This is where we are get. Uh, again, it's not a real app and it's, there's not much, there's only so much you can do in an hour. Get this front and center on the screen. Let's make it as big as we possibly can, put it on display. Um, it's Canadia and that's just a fake name because I'm from Canada and it, I wanted it to sound a little bit more fantastical than Canada Coffee Supply, especially because our, th our theme was uh, Eternity Dwarf Coffee. So it's basically a coffee supplier that, but it's, it's essentially a fantasy coffee supplier where dwarves make coffee with magical properties. And again, there's so much you could do with that if you were a designer in terms of making that come across in the app. But for me, it's really just about practicing my Swift UI skills, building, you know, you know, really training that designer's eye and building that designer's eye because I don't have one. So this is what I came up with. Um, and it's essentially just a scroll view where you can check out various different kind of types of coffee blends that these dwarf, these northern dwarves make. And they make three, according to my app. They make Canadia Signature Blend, the Eternity Blend, and the Forest Blend. Now, normally you would be able to click on all of them and go somewhere, but you know, in the interest of time and prototyping, you wouldn't necessarily waste your time doing that. I just needed to prototype that functionality for one, and I obviously chose the very first one, the Signature Blend. So when you click that, you're brought to another screen where you can see the I reused the view so it's almost like the same view kind of opening up again the Canadia signature blend you get a bag of the coffee this image the image I've used here three times could be three separate images it's just again in the interest of time I reused images and so you click this and this coffee is hand roasted by northern dwarves of Canadia it's a fan favorite and this description you can make this a bit more interesting you can put a picture here you can Underneath here, you could have another kind of image here. You could have a bark. You could do a ton of things, a, a small video, like a ton of things. Um, but again, not what I did. Then I wanted to just kind of show the price. So it's $19.99 a bag. Because if you're buying this, of course, you want to know how much it's going to cost. And then I was like, okay, well, now I have all this extra space. What could I do? And I kind of here implemented like where you would see the traits. So it's, you know, it's recharging, it's heart healthy, and it's a fan favorite. One thing you could do to clean this up a little that I didn't even think of till just now is I get you. It would essentially get you the same thing, but this time you have more space. You can add more and more and more. So that was fun. It took me the better part of an hour to get the basics in and then a little bit more to kind of fix some bugs and fine tune some things. And so, that's essentially our app and it's just a two page app. And so that kind of just did this to highlight what you can do with a bit of time in terms of, you know, practicing your, the skills, getting better. And so I, I had a lot of fun here and I plan to do it again. Something I'm going to be doing mostly on Twitch just because it, bode, it, it's, it bodes better for live content. Mm, so if you're following me on YouTube and you're 
want to check me out when I'm doing this on Twitch, just follow me on Twitch and YouTube. Follow me on Twitch so that you know kind of when I'm going live. Um, right now I'm planning this to be a Saturday affair just because it's when I have the most amount of time available to kind of schedule in an hour or two um, to do a live stream. Um, so yeah, this was really fun. I hope to see you guys on my next stream. For those of you who stumbled in on Twitch, you know, find me on YouTube, follow me there. There'll be a wider breadth of content there. So again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.